not so. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Sounds good. <clears throat> Uh, notice it has a bar going across. You know, it, it looks. It only. You're on, man. You're on. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. So, on the uh, any flight going across the Atlantic, there's a ridiculous amount of paperwork uh, required. So we'll run through that just real quickly. We get this uh, folder, which is uh, handy. It's got a lot of inf information in it, some facts, uh, airport codes, and that kind of stuff. Of course, we got the uh, the flight plan. That's always good to have. In fact, they give you two of them. One has to be signed and left here. And it shows the turbulence uh, along the flight, how high we're going to go, how fast we're going to go, uh, how much fuel we need, that kind of stuff. Uh, here's the second copy. We've got a uh, map uh, that's uh, really pretty. They even draw, actually, we usually do the drawing, uh, the route of flight. Today we're going to go really, really close to uh, Greenland. And uh, we have to plot our course on that to make sure we're not straying off course. We also have what's called a track message. This tells us we're on track Charlie which has uh, all these different waypoints on it, and uh, we need to be on that. These are all the different tracks, Alpha through Golf. Uh, and uh, just the fuel and the time at each waypoint that we'll be at. This is our um, takeoff data. It shows uh, the amount of power we're gonna need on the various runways and the flap settings. So for nine and two seven here in London, this is what we're gonna need. And the uh, V speeds, the speeds that uh, will uh, rotate the airplane to take off or lift off speed. Uh, we got all the names of the crew, uh, and then we've got uh, weather, which includes the forecast winds, the forecast at our destination, the forecast at all our alternates, uh, plus a whole bunch of messages uh, on uh, security items and um, uh, just uh, new procedures that might not have made it into our manual yet. And uh, that continues with more weather and winds, and um, geez. They even give you here in London <clears throat> maps. Since we can't pull up the uh, weather in flight uh, while we're flying, well, we can pull up what the weather is currently, but we can't pull up, say, the depictions in the uh, drawings. So this has uh, the weather pressure systems, the highs and lows, and the, this uh, graph here shows the amount of wind we'll have on our tail, or uh, in this case, on our nose. And uh, <clears throat> of course, we have a air reporting form, shows us, uh, we fill this out as we're flying, the uh, times that will be at each waypoint and that we uh, call this into ATC and we can just read it off of this uh, form here. Hey look, more weather. And uh, finally we got a little user guide. Uh, has anything you want to know about uh, flying across the Atlantic, a checklist, and also um, how to um, divert if we need to, just uh, some procedures that are quick and uh, easy to refer to uh, as we, um, uh, uh, if we have an emergency. Uh, and the most important accessory to go with all this paperwork, the trash bag, because all this ends up in the trash at the end of the flight. So that's the paperwork required to fly across the Atlantic.